Thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be over this little baby right here. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I decided to pick up the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And before I get into the video, let me get a little housekeeping out of the way. I will have timestamps below, just in case you don't wanna hear my little blurb about my thoughts on this eyeshadow palette. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Um, this is a nice palette and probably the only reason that I picked it up is because of the metallic shades and I'm a bit of a collector. I have all of her palettes. Um, this palette, I did do five looks, but I'm really not happy with the looks. I, the look that I have on now, I did it with this eyeshadow palette and I just found that this particular palette wasn't um, it really wasn't fun to use to me, dare I say. Uh, this burgundy shade right here was like super dry. I found the uh, blushes to not blend well. And when I say not blend well, you gotta remember that I'm talking about how it played with the other uh, products on my skin. Um, if you're familiar with my channel, you know I talk a lot about how products play together. Um, I used the uh, pure foundation on a couple of the looks and I also used ooh, my Too Faced concealer um, excuse me Too Faced foundation and what else did I use on my skin I used the Believe stick highlighter stick and let's see what did I contour with oh, I contoured with this Maybelline multi-purpose stick. And once I had everything on my face and I went to apply these blushes, I just found for, um, that they just kind of stuck in place and they didn't blend well. And I've had other products uh, like blushes and things like that play really good with the products that I just received. So I just thought I would tell you all about that. As far as the metallics, um, I typically don't mind a eyeshadow that's uh, chunky or thick or anything like that. But these, <laughs> these metallics, I found that they didn't layer well over like this burgundy shade. Uh, they just, it just really wasn't smooth. I didn't get a lot of sparkle. Um, they were just kind of, mm. Same with these two metallic shades right here. Um, they, they were just okay. I was, and as far as this little uh, shade right here with the little sparkles in it, um, that, of course, that didn't show up. You know, once you applied it, you see it, but it kind of all fades away. It would probably uh, stick, it probably would have stuck if I used a wet base I'm thinking uh, but overall you know it was it's a nice palette for an everyday simple look um, the look that I have on now I think is pretty simple I think that some of my lashes are falling off because on one of the uh, the looks I used I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills primer and it burned my eyes I don't know if this is if this has expired. And so I really couldn't get into the sixth look because my eyes are just really starting to act up and things like that. And like I said, I think my eyelashes are falling down. If they are, please excuse it. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that's my thoughts on this palette. Hope you all are still interested and let's get into the looks. <laughs> 